when you've got yourself a site, uh, we're going to look at uh, creating a template from which to create your web pages. You don't have to have a template, and indeed, in most um, high quality websites uh, out there in the commercial world, they won't have a template, they'll solely rely on CSS. Uh, but for the sake of the way that uh, you guys are going to work and the level you're working at, I think it's worth having a look at templates and indeed I think it's worth using templates because it makes uh, organising your pages a lot easier to understand and uh, CSS is, is more advanced really than templates and is another step uh, that we'll get onto later on. So let's look at templates then. If we click here where it says more, create new more, you'll see it'll bring up this menu. Now there are lots and lots of options here and there's no way I'm going to cover them for what you guys are going to do. Uh, all I'm going to look at is the idea of a blank template and make sure you're choosing a HTML template there. Please don't choose any other template that's there because that may cause you issues later on. And it is a HTML template you're going to use because that, that's indeed what your site's going to be. It's just going to be uh, more or less a basic website with basic web pages. There may be other bits on there that's not HTML, but the foundations of the page is going to be about HTML. So, when we've got a HTML template chosen, you can see there's a variety of choices of layout. Now, in modern day web design, you want that fluidity or what they call elasticity there, so you want a elastic designs but you're going to be having really a fixed design you're not going to get into like the BBC website where you can move things about and changeable content and all that kind of thing not the level you're working at so please only choose the fixed ones so we've got column fixed center to choose from or center header and footer and you can see it appearing in the right hand preview when you hear what it looks like and um, fixed left sidebar and so on another fixed right right and Lots and lots of, of different ones here, column fix, so it all goes in the middle. Again, three columns like that. And we want you to choose the one that's relevant to your designs, not the one that you've suddenly decided that you like. It's the one that follows your designs, follows your plans. So say I've got some plans that make my site look like that, where I've got a header, a left-hand menu bar, and a footer as well. And the content, the white bit in the middle, is... Uh, going to be the editable region, the bit that changes from page to page. Now you'll see here it says layout uh, CSS, uh, create new file or add to head. Well you're going to create new file because you haven't got a file at the moment, you haven't got a style sheet to attach to this website. A style sheet being something that uh, determines what fonts are going to be used or what colour background for instance is going to be used and that kind of thing. And you haven't really got that put together as such in the way you're designing your site. If you already had a site or you wanted to mimic a site that was already out there, then you may be able to pick a CSS file or indeed create a CSS file to begin with and then attach that to your website. But that's not the way you're working here. So let's just create this site here. And indeed it comes up and says, well, what do you want to save that style sheet as? So if you save it something that's familiar to you, or that's unique to you, or unique to your site, that's going to make it better to understand when you're looking for the CSS, if something goes wrong with it, or if you're trying to locate it to change. So I'll just call that my CSS. I click save. And there we are. It's put together a template here. Now nothing's changed in the right hand side here. And the reason why nothing's changed is because we haven't saved something. I know that because it's got a star next to it in the top there. Whenever you see a star on Dreamweaver, that means it isn't saved. So, before I do save it, I'm going to create an editable region. I'm going to click in here, and I'm going to say, uh, insert template object editable region. And I'm not, I don't care what the editable region is called for the sake of this. And there we are, I've got an editable region in the middle there, and I've got the frame of the page um, as it showed in that, uh, that preview that we looked at around there. I'm not going to do anything else at this stage apart from save my template. Now, I'm going to go save as, and immediately it's creating me a templates folder. That templates folder will be inside this site folder. Please don't call it um, Untitled 1 or leave it called Untitled 1. Please give it a name. So I'm just going to give it my template. Again, it's unique. Uh, perhaps you'd be better calling it template relevant to what your page name is. Please use underscores or join the words together. Don't use spaces in the names. I call it there, save it, and we have a template created. And if you look here on the right hand side, there it is inside your site folder.